All right, so last night on Raw, WWE typed in the Game Shark cheat code to get people that hate Roman Reigns a little bit less. And that cheat code is known as Sierra Hotel India Echo Lima Delta Shield. And I feel a way about it. <laughs> and I don't think I'm the only one. I think everyone feels a way because everybody sees through it. But at the same time, I don't know if we're all looking at all the angles of it. But I'm gonna focus strictly on Roman first. Rome is the champion. I've actually been one of the people who defended Roman. I said he takes too much crap from the fans. People complain just to, for the sake of complaining in regards to him. Like, well, Finn finally got his rematch. You gotta give Brock Lesnar, not Brock, you gotta give Roman Reigns credit for giving Finn his rematch. And my counter punch to that was basically, why did he ask Brock Lesnar for a rematch? I mean, let's keep it real. Finn Balor has been back for like six, seven, eight, nine months. He's been back for a while. Now, after all, all that time Lesnar was the champ, never once did he walk up, bro, I want a rematch. He didn't jump up like, remember Debo from next one? This is no punk ass up to Chris. This is the rematch. Ben Dollar never did that to Brock. He didn't want no smoke with Brock. But as soon as Roman became the champion, yeah, Roman, uh, let me get that rematch, bro. <laughs> On fan part, it's smart, but I'm not giving Roman any credit for giving it to him. I, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was smart on fan part. Roman should have told him, you got all these other fools to go through before you get to me. I just nearly got killed getting this. And now you're just gonna just give it away. I, I don't I don't necessarily uh buy that. You know, I've never seen uh the Golden State Warriors after going through a playoff series and winning the NBA title all of a sudden. Man, I want a rematch. Nah, LeBron, you gotta wait another year, man. <laughs> we just beat you. We're pretty exhausted, pretty tired. We don't Give us a day or two to just enjoy being a champion. Now that's apples and oranges, you know, wrestling, NBA, NFL. They have off seasons, wrestling doesn't. But still, you damn near got killed for three years. You killed yourself for three years to win this thing. And then you're just gonna put it on the line like that? That's like dating the chick for three years. Not even dating her. You, you're trying to date this chick for three years. You're throwing everything at her. Diamond ring, limo rides, candlelight dinner for three years, and she still don't want you. And then finally, you make it to first, second, and then third base, and then you make it to home plate. You've got the girl, you're gonna marry her. And then ex-boyfriend walks up. Hey, uh, I kinda wanna date her again, and you're like, well, I'll give you a shot to date her again. You're like, no, bruh, where were you the last nine months when I was damn near killing my wallet and myself to get this girl? <laughs> but nope, it, it, it's 100% okay for Roman. Nah, y'all could just come here. Y'all could just take my wife, take my girl. All you have to do is ask. I've never really got that about um, certain champions. I get some some championships, it's the law of the jungle. You know, the, the TV titles back in the days, the 24-7 hardcore title. But Roman, you just fought Lesnar. You got killed by the dude multiple times. And you finally win the big one. Why aren't you on an island chilling somewhere, man? <laughs> I get it, they're characters, but at the same time, bruh. <laughs> I mean, believability people here, work with me on this. You know, that's why even though sometimes it, it would be, they called it a hillish move. In certain cases, I'm like, bruh. Like, if Lesnar would have rolled up and challenged them to a rematch, he would be like, okay, that's cool. I'll give you a rematch, but just not tonight, bruh. And in today's day and age where the lines have blurred between what a hero does and what a villain does. And everyone's more of an anti-hero. Everyone's more so neutral. It's like a Scorpion from Mortal Kombat type thing. Why not do that? 
No one's going to respect Roman's reign because of there's always a whole bunch of fuckery attached to it, man. First, Roman can't beat Brock cleanly. Then he needs, you know, Braun Strowman to fake cash in just to get people to cheer his match. It's like, if a match is dope, a match is dope. It's not about if the audience craps on it or not. If it's dope, it's dope, you know. There have been matches in the past where in the beginning of the match, the fans booed it and crapped on it. And then as the match wore on, it won the crowd over. That has happened in the past. And if Roman is the guy, he's the man, like, you know, they claim him to be, you guys will cheer Braun Strowman, who Roman basically helped create and make into, you know, the force he is today. But y'all won't cheer him. And look at how talented he is. But you know, as far as the fans going back, but the, the sad part about this is that the same fans that are booing him and all that shit, we gonna walk out. We don't like you. Fuck you, Roman. Y'all used to do the same damn thing to John Cena. And all these years later, you guys started eating your words. When he comes out now, y'all boo and y'all don't even boo him no more. Y'all just chant that same bullshit along with his theme song and do it more so in tribute. It's almost like the you suck with Kurt Angle. So, yeah, Roman gonna have y'all eating y'all words one day and that's why he's not worried about it. The Shield reuniting on Raw was just, what the hell are you doing? I like to compare it to Spider-Man. You know, we've seen Spider-Man go up against Venom. You know, Venom is Braun Strowman. Spider-Man can beat Venom one-on-one. -on -one. He may struggle a bit, but he'll hold his own and eventually win. He don't need no help to beat Venom down in the fight. But when he's fighting Thanos, Brock Lesnar, oh, he needs all the help he can get. So the Shield reuniting to jump Braun Strowman was just what the hell to me. You know, why didn't y'all unite and jump Brock Lesnar? There it would be justified. I don't care how you beat Brock Lesnar. I don't care if you beat him clean. I don't care if you beat him dirty. You do what you got to do to be the dude like him. Him and Bobby Lashley, them two. You know, I don't care if you boot him in the balls a few times. Those some big dudes, man, who are fast as hell with MMA training. You you do what you got to do to beat them. I think it was very punkish and sissified that the Shield reunited to beat up a dude that all three of them have the ability to beat one-on-one. -on -one. But when there, there comes a the time to actually unite and beat down the one dude he really needs some help with, y'all don't want to help him. I feel like if WWE was going to put the Shield back together, they should have just did it at SummerSlam. They could have had the Shield come out, beat the hell out of Lesnar, and then beat the hell out of Braun both. And then, I mean, man, I would have... I'm just saying, if you're going to put them together, why do you wait for to put them back together when he's fighting Braun Strowman? Braun Strowman is not the threat Lesnar is. So, I don't get that. But, tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm out.